Prince Harry has caused a controversy. You guys know about this? Um, Mental. Um, Prince William has called out Prince Harry. He said he's sad and shocked at Harry's behaviour towards the Queen. Now we are a very we're a very queen friendly podcast. It's fine for you, James, obviously, because you've you've got like mutual friends with them, so I get why you, you know, it's in a family or something. I have actually, I have actually, I've not met Prince Philip. I've done. You've like, been on um, the island with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was um I was a waiter at um St James's Palace. Uh, not I'm not St James for the record. Before we go, <laughs> but uh, I I I was um a wine waiter at a fundraiser where Prince Charles was. And uh, that was interesting. Did you figure out any cool secrets? And, like... Not really, but I, you kind of, you go in the kitchen and there's this cheese wire and you're thinking like, the security's not that great. There's a few people standing behind him. Well, but... you were thinking you could kill a member of the royal family and you were saying well, that the thing is... on a podcast right now. No, because... Tell him more. <laughs> <laughs> James's plan to overthrow the monarchy. Killed. And I'm not saying I would have, but when when you have that many security checks done on you when you before you go into a place, they're like, oh no, you can't come in until we've seen your passport and you need to stand outside. I'm like, hey, yeah, but how would you actually be able to judge what I'm about to do to, you know, a, re- a member of the royal this family? This is horrific. But you, so, oh, you, free better murder, everyone. You thought about killing a member of the royal family? No, it raises really? the question though. It's a, I don't think it would be that difficult for someone to do. Do not that that makes it even more important. Cause it raises the question: How has he got? this far um because you think uh surely surely he, had, he was surrounded by security so if you tried he's anything they'd be he's on not you. he's not like so so the, i remember thinking like i just remember feeling like this is really chill for a member of the royal family i swear they have to have like mad security but then i guess like what would you i mean terrorists might like do it to make a message but then like why why else would i like kill <laughs> why would james marriott do it what <laughs> message does james marriott have you never know you never know <laughs> stream just, slow I down just my, i just found myself thinking like i was just like literally walking you weren't allowed to walk behind him and you weren't allowed to be in a photo where he was or go near him but as soon as they were around the table and i was pouring wine for everyone which everyone just rejected no one drank wine so my job was rather disappointing anyway there's someone playing the harp and he had his own private waiting team of about two or three people. But that was it. So it wasn't like there was like mad security, which I would have thought there would have been. So there you there go. There were definitely people looking over him most of the time, though. Like Not from what I could tell. Not from what I could tell. So, by the way, if anybody wonders why Prince Charles gets assassinated a week after this Look. podcast came out, it's because <laughs> we've revealed the security issues of the royal family. I No, I'm just saying, like, especially in the time that I was working there, there were a lot of terrorist attacks going on in the uk and france and i was like i remember thinking like security is a bit low here like and this is somewhere if people wanted to make an impact it would be here so i yeah i just found it a bit weird so yeah everybody that was the terrorist part of the podcast uh we discuss (laughs) the potential ability to be able to assassinate a royal family member yeah what was the what why did why did they get brought up I, but just because I said I worked where, there, where I, was I just that remember good before he turned that into oh, I want to fucking Sorry. kill the. Prince. I didn't know. I oh my god! I like imagine I get like a fucking police case at this point because they think I wanted to murder a member of the royal family. Oh, they're definitely watching this podcast yeah. for sure. Liz, Liz has got it on in the back. You're gonna worry him. So, Liz, what um, if you had to fuck a Harry Potter character that wasn't <laughs> human, which one would you fuck? Leave it in the comments. It's, yeah, she'll be watching. Um, by the way, I'm just reading this article about Prince Charles going to visit his, um, what was it? Is it uncle? Dad? I can't remember. Uh, it's, oh dad. Dad. it's his dad. It's his dad. Um, I, can't, can't, I completely stayed, understand it. I, I, he stayed for people, half an hour. Yeah, loads of people have been complaining about it. And it's like, I understand that some people weren't able to see their, their family members, but by... I'm, I'm not gonna lie mate you're not you're not a member of the royal family and i saw something like oh why do they get special exceptions because they're the fucking royal family <laughs> I think if there is any family what, what's the in what's our the country what's people got really pissed off because prince charles went to go visit prince philip for half an hour oh because he went to see him yeah he was yeah fucking dying well, you'd think at least I unless was... he's got some fucking ritual on him but <laughs> yeah then then understand <laughs> he was bringing it he was bringing the blood ritual to him. Um, he was only there for half an hour, so if they are doing rituals, they're pretty short. Mm. You know, half an hour for an extra thirty not, years, not I think it is. A minute, a minute, a year, I guess. I have no idea. It yeah, reminded me like um, people started tweeting well saying like, "Oh, there's going to be news tonight about the royal f- coming out of the royal I family." I saw that, yeah. And it reminded me of like a Fabrizio Romano tweet. 
<laughs> I'm going to tweet now. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, here we go.